Hey peeps, it's Jed here from Disrupt Tutoring and as always, it's such a pleasure to join you. Today we're going to deal with some probability and with that in mind, let's dive straight in. So they've given us this table and they've said we've surveyed some people in two areas and we've asked them specifically how much money they earn per month and then they've grouped them into certain income categories. Now they've said to us, prove that earning an income of less than 3,200 Rand per month is not independent of the area in which the person lives. Now remember, when it comes to independence, to prove two things are not independent, we need to prove that the probability of one of them happening multiplied by the probability of the other one happening does not equal the probability that they both happen at the same time. So that's what we're going to do in this case. And in order to do that, let's say that the event A in this case is going to be that someone lives in area 1. Okay, and let's say that event B in this case is that someone earns less than 3,200 Rand per month. All right, so let's start off on the left hand side. So the probability of A times the probability of B. Okay, so let's see what happens. The probability of A here, so someone living in area one, we know is going to be 1,832 people that were surveyed from area one over the total number. So that's going to be 1832 over 2646 times the probability of B. Probability of B is essentially someone earning less than 3,200. So, so we know there's 960 people that earn less than 3,200. So that's going to be 960 over 2646. And when we plug that into our calculators, we get 25,12%. Right, so we've done the left-hand side. Let's move on to the right-hand side. So now we're going to do the probability of A into section B. And in this case, we can see from our table that living in area 1, okay, and earning less than 3,200, there are 500 people that fall into that bracket. So it would be the 500 people over 2646. All right. And in that case, once we plug that into our calculator, we get a percentage of 18,90%. Now, what's great about this is we can see that the two percentages do not equal each other. And because they do not equal each other, we can therefore conclude that they are not independent. Fantastic. Nicely done. Hopefully that helps you out. Very special thank you to our sponsor for making this video possible. Read all about them in the description below. Also, head over to our website to find more of these epic tutorial videos. If you can't find the answer to your question, send us the question and we'll respond with a personalized video just for you. Until the next time, stay epic.